In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this simple camera flash transition with a free plugin. It might look basic, but there's actually a lot going on behind the scenes to make it look super saucy. So stay tuned all the way to the end and I'll show you all the tricks that I'm using. My name is Brian Dalmata and I make educational content for millions of creators online just like yourself. So if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. I make amazing editing packs, presets and plugins. So if you're looking to level up your edits, go ahead and check those out. I'll have them linked down below as well as my private community and mentorship where I teach you how to create your first digital product, make a website and then make your first sale. Both of those will be linked down in the description. Drop a like on the video and let's get into After Effects. So here in After Effects, this is the transition we're going to be creating. It's pretty basic looking, but there's actually a lot of sauce going on behind the scenes to kind of make it look so clean. You can see the motion blur. You can see the flash like this. I'm going to break down how to do all of this, this little distort here. You might not have even picked up on these, all these little details over the first watch, but that's what makes it look so smooth and so clean. So this is our clip that we want to make the transition between these two clips right here. So right at the cut, I'm going to put my playhead and then I'm going to add this effect. It's a free plugin. I'll have it linked down below called Displacer Pro and just drag that onto your clip. So I'm going to go ahead and keyframe the scale and scale it up. And it looks weird for a second, but then let's go ahead to edge behavior and you can play around and see what you want. Repeat mirror edges or edge repeat. I like edge repeat for this. And then we're going to go two frames backwards and change it to hundred percent and then go two frames forward from that cut and change it to hundred percent as well. So now we have this kind of like crazy looking thing. It doesn't look too good right now, but we're going to blend it all together in just a second. Let's go ahead and highlight all these keyframes. And if you press F9, you can easy ease them, or you can also right click go to keyframe assistant and then click easy ease. I'm also going to translate the Y just a little bit at the peak and keyframe it and then do the exact same thing, bring it instead of hundred percent, actually on this value, it's going to be zero. So we can bring it to zero at the beginning and the end. And let's also just go ahead and easy ease that. And it looks a little weird right now. You can see it's kind of just like this, like flash transition real quick. Like it's not really looking like a camera or smooth or really anything. Honestly, it looks kind of bad as it is right now, but you got to trust the process. So we're going to make an adjustment layer, the length of our clip, and then add on our SMB. And this is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting. It's going to make it look a lot more just smooth when the transition happens. It almost like kind of morphs like that. And we can actually trim it to the length of the transition. If we want, we might extend it a little bit in a second, but now it's a lot more of like this, like flick instead of the whole screen taking place, you can see like the difference. It just makes it look a little bit smoother. And now to start getting a little bit more of that camera flash transition, let's go ahead and bring on the exposure effect onto our video clip and keyframe it up a little bit. So it starts getting brighter. I'm going to bring it around like 2.5 will probably look good for our clip. And then I'm going to go to the beginning and change the value to zero and then go to the end and change the value to zero as well. And then, and then I'm going to double click on you to expose our keyframes and then easy ease them clicking F9. So now it's becoming a little bit more of a flash and to get that kind of like film aesthetic camera flash that I was going for, I'm actually going to be using the film burn sprocket from the cine packs pack. I'll have it linked down in the description. If you use code Brian five at checkout, you'll actually get $5 off the order. Support me as a creator. I use this pack a lot. It's kind of like my go-to film transitions, but if you have any other film transitions that you like, go ahead and use those. I'm just a fan of this. So let's go ahead and find where we want the transition to take place. I think right there will probably be a good starting point and then we can have it end right about here. So I'm going to go ahead and split that and then bring it right to the peak. So the peak of the transition is kind of right here. And we're going to go ahead and change the blending mode to find something we like. I think add looks good or screen. I think add for this example is going to be perfect. And then you can see we're starting to get a lot more of this camera flash transition. I'm also going to add just another adjustment layer, the exact same length as this RSMB one and actually move it below the RSMB. And then on that, I'm going to use the exposure effect. I'm going to crank it up a lot to pretty much where it's like pure white. So something like that, maybe five, maybe six, somewhere around here. And then I'm going to use this rectangle tool and just mask out the top half. And then we can keyframe the exposure to zero at the beginning and zero at the end. And we can make that last just one frame long. So it's zero peak amplitude and then zero again. And if you want to go through, you can actually go to the mask settings. And if you want the line to be a little bit more soft, you can go ahead and change up the feather. That way it's not as harsh of a line, but I actually kind of like the look when it's pretty harsh. I'm just going to leave the feather at zero, but it's all up to personal preference. You can even bring it above the adjustment layer if you want it to be like really harsh of a, a line. That way it's not interacting with the RSMB, but I personally like it down a little bit. It blends it a little bit. And I feel like it just looks the best, but that's pretty much the simple camera flash transition. I think it's timeless. You can literally use it in videos forever. I think it just has a little bit extra sauce than just like a typical flash transition. 
It's something that I've been doing in my videos, so I'd recommend you go ahead and check it out and experiment with it. I'll have Displacer Pro linked down below. It's the free plugin that I used, as well as the Cinepax film overlays that I used. And if you use code Brian5 at checkout, you'll get $5 off your order. They're super clutch. I use them a lot, so I'd highly recommend them. But that's pretty much all I got for you guys in this video. Be sure to drop a like. Peace.